Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 9. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply style presets to multiple clips on your timeline. One thing I do in a lot of my videos is I make the cursor size bigger. It is easier for viewers to be able to follow the cursor when I'm talking about things on the screen if the cursor is bigger. To change the size of the cursor, I'm going to select the video clip on the timeline. I'm going to come up here to this fourth property screen recording and if i drag the slider for pointer zoom you'll see there the cursor is getting nice and big i'm going to enter in a value of 250 percent so now that i have the cursor at the size that i want i'm going to save it as a style preset so i can quickly apply it to all the clips on this timeline and also use the style preset for other videos that i make in ScreenFlow. so with the clip selected where i've already made the change I'm going to come up here and click on this cube next to the plus action button. You'll see here it says styles in the tooltip. I'm going to click on this little plus symbol here. I'll click the plus symbol again. Now I can give it a name. I'm just going to call it cursor underscore 250. So I know that's the size of it. To apply a style preset on multiple clips in the ScreenFlow timeline, you can just select the clips that you want to add the style preset to. In this case, I want to make the cursor bigger on all of the clips. So I'm just going to drag over all the video clips on this timeline. I am in screen recording. I'm going to click on the cube for styles. And then I want this one here, cursor 250. So I'm just going to click on it. And with just that one click of the style preset, now the cursor is big throughout the entire video. I'll do the same with the audio. I have a preset for my audio that I do in all my videos. I'm just going to select all these individual clips. I'm going to go to the audio property. I'll click on the cube. I'm going to click on Mike's 2019 audio preset. Give it a second. And boom. You'll see the waveform just got bigger on all of the clips. And that is how you add style presets to multiple clips on the timeline of ScreenFlow. Just select the clips. Go to the style preset that you have created, click on it, and it will apply it to everything you have selected. And one little bonus, if you want to go back to the original or the defaults, just select all the clips. Click on the style preset for that property. Then if you look at the very bottom, you see reset to defaults. If I click that, it will go back to the original form. My name is Mike Murphy. That is your quick tip in ScreenFlow 9. Cheers.